Close your eyes. Try to make the breath comfortable. Ask yourself, what does the body need right now? What does the mind need right now? And see if you can provide it with a breath. This way you can protect yourself from the shocks of the world. You've got the breath as your cushion, you've got the breath as your insulation. In other words, you've got a good place to stay inside where you're protected. The Buddha calls this a Vihara Dhamma, a home for the mind. Now you have windows. It's not the case that you can't see what's going on outside. But you know when to open the windows when to close them. When to open the doors and when to close them. And this way you have a safe home wherever you go. Because we train the mind in this way. Because wherever we go, the mind goes as well, of course. And it's not just the shocks of the world outside. It's, there's a lot of unskillful stuff going on inside the mind that we have to protect ourselves from as well. So it's good to have the breath as a cushion, as a shock absorber. Something gives you a sense of well-being in spite of what's going on outside. So you're not feeling so threatened, you don't feel so put upon by things outside. You've got your source of well-being inside. And that's where it belongs. If you're constantly dependent on things outside being just the way you want, then you're going to create trouble for yourself and trouble for other people. But if you learn to provide your well-being inside, then you don't have to lean on other people. You don't have to insist that this has to be that way, that has to be this way. You can live in an imperfect world, and you can live with a mind that's imperfect, but you can protect yourself from those imperfections by developing some perfections inside. Now, concentration is not explicitly listed in the perfections, but it's under the perfection of renunciation. Otherwise, instead of looking for your happiness in terms of sensual pleasures, you look for it in terms of the pleasure of form the sense of the body as you feel it from within, right here, right now. And you find that if you pay careful attention right here, right now, you can get a very strong sense of well-being, even a sense of fullness, refreshment. And then you can learn how to depend on that. Of course, it means you have to maintain it. It's not going to just stay there. Like any house, you have to keep it repaired. But at least you've got something to protect yourself. That way, wherever you go in the world, you have your protection. And as for whatever good things there are in the world, well, you can open the windows and doors and let them in. Whatever's not good, you can close the windows, close the doors. And you still find that you can survive perfectly well.